Welcome in Taurus. My name is Maria Dindigo Earth. I'm here to do a reading for you, our Earth signs Taurus. So good to have you here. Welcome in Cross Watchers. Please feel free to swap around the characters as need be throughout the reading. And time is fluid, so any time that you come across this message and you were drawn into it was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through Taurus should reflect some aspect of your current situation as well as an inner knowing. So take what fits. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. For those of you that this does resonate with, I will have an extended at the end of this reading. I'll dive deeper into your message and we will look at any zodiac signs that are coming through in your reading. Remember, zodiac signs coming through can be about an intimate connection as well as and or background players. Friends, family, relatives, colleagues, um, siblings, children, extended family, blended family. So just keep that in the back of your head as we move forward. And for those of you that like the content being shared, please like and subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow so other Tureans can get the messages that might be needed for them as well. Know that that is honored and it is appreciated. So... Good to have you here. Let's see where we go with you today. This is a message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is a message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is a message for those watching, please. Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. All right, here we go. So your overall energetic theme right now, we've got the Three of Pentacles. You might be combining some things, or you might be asking for help or looking for help or working with others. Your overall energy right now, we have the Queen of Pentacles. There's something that you really care about. Something that's very dear to your heart right now. Could be working with other people. It could be in service to something. You could be um, working on a community project or working with youth or um, working in a nonprofit with other maybe like minded souls. Your situation right now, the Five of Swords. So you might have somebody trying to sabotage a situation here. So let's keep going. Let's see what's going on here. We've got the, your opportunity is the Two of Pentacles. Maybe having to make a decision here about something. Or it could be combining something as well. Um, what the universe is co-creating with you. Two of Cups. So this could be in regards to an intimate connection that might be having some difficulty right now. Let's see how you got here. Seven of Wands. Could have been taking a stand on something or seeing just something from your perspective only, not from another person's perspective. Let's see what's right around the corner for you. We got the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with the water sign. Or you might just be opening up a little bit more. Seeing something from somebody else's perspective. Putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. So let's see what's fading away here. The Six of Wands. Maybe wanting to win or wanting to um, overcome or trying to... Um, gather the attention, gather the acknowledgement. Let's see what the outside influences are. We got the moon. Could be dealing with your feelings, your emotions. 
might be coming up to the surface a little bit more here or this could be something being hidden that might have to do with this you know there might be somebody sabotaging a situation here that you care deeply about so let's see what your next steps are we got the knight of swords Could be taking some bold action towards something, speaking your peace, speaking your mind, getting something off your chest. <clears throat> and we have future possibilities. We have the chariot. Something gets set in motion here. So this might have to do with a um, an intimate partner, but the two of cups, this is what the universe is working on with you. That can really be about anything that's really close to your heart. Something that you really care about here. You're willing to work together, but, or work in collaboration, or um, bring something together in collaboration, or in combination. I think you're opening up yourself, you're opening up a little bit more, maybe to other others perspectives on certain situations maybe something that you didn't do in the past maybe you just had your own way of seeing things and really weren't able to understand somebody else's perspective but let's see what's going on here with with this Taurus let's find out so we got the five of swords here as your situation let's find out what this is could have been an argument could have been not seeing eye to eye on something Could be unresolved conflict. So tell us what this Five of Swords is, please. Clarify the Five of Swords. We got the Seven of Swords. <laughs> I think somebody either, I'm not getting that this is you, but somebody could be trying to sabotage a situation here. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody could be purposely trying to start arguments. Yeah, we got the emperor. Could be dealing with the fire sign. And we got the three of swords. Um, somebody who's hurt. Feel free to swap around the characters. This could be you or this could be somebody else, but somebody's trying to sabotage something here. Purposely trying to start arguments. Um, they're, they're hurt. Could be Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, because we've got the Emperor showing up here. That's an Aries, specific to Aries. We got Pisces showing up here. We got Cancer showing up here. But somebody here is trying to somebody here is is out for revenge could be you could be the other person so let's see what this two of pentacles is could be the opportunity to um understand something from another person's perspective maybe Clarify the two of pentacles here. This is the opportunity. We have the magician. That's air energy coming in. We have the nine of cups. And we have the nine of pentacles. So you got two nines here. This is about mastery and wisdom. I think you're trying to I think you're trying to com combine or b bring together or um, blend things that you really care about but we got the nine of cups and we got the nine of Pentacles so 
you know, the two nines are kind of like independent. So happiness and your happiness and your livelihood. It's like trying to maybe bring these two together like they like they're separate like your your livelihood or how you make money or how you um your work life and your your you know what brings you happiness your um emotional happiness it's kind of like you have them separated like they're two different entities And there's a deep, like, there is a deep care and concern here. Why is a magician showing up? I don't, I don't understand why that's here. That's Virgo and Gemini energy coming in. Clarify the magician. Oh, could be feeling powerless right now. Could be feeling powerless in both maybe your financial situation and your um, emotional well-being. Could be feeling a little bit powerless. It's like you're juggling back and forth between the two. They seem to be kind of like separate, separate lives or separate kind of... Um, Ideologies, no. Entities. Could be trying to hold them together as well. Could be trying to hold them together. Two of Pentacles. Let's keep going here. So let's find out what the Two of Cups is. This is what the universe is co-creating with you. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So again, your livelihood's coming up. We got the Ten of Wands. Again, you got two tens here, two nines, two tens. This is about um, closing down a cycle. This is mastery and wisdom and then closing down a cycle. And we got strength. Well, the Ten of Pentacles represents your overall Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, right? This is this is kind of like what you consider home. It's where your emotional well-being is. It's where your financial well-being is. It's where um, you feel most comfortable. You're, you're in a good place. Things are moving along. You're not worried about finances. You're not worried about resources. You're not worried about... Um, lack of anything emotional you like your cups are filled your cups are filled and you, but you've got the ten of wands with this with strength so it's like you're trying to hold it together somehow it's taking a lot of energy out of you and it has something to do with relationships so either you're separating like a re your relationship with maybe your work life or you're trying to combine a relationship and combine your work. Like the two have to be two, in order to function, they have to be two separate kind of um, modes of living. And it seems to be very stressful. Like it's taking a lot out of you. It seems to be very, very stress stressful. 
Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles, too, represents things that are on the surface. You're trying to move things forward. You're trying to take accountability here. You're trying to you're trying you're trying to juggle it all. You're trying to hold it all together here is what's happening. And it, it's drawing a lot of power from you. It's wearing you out. Cuz something here is being sabotaged. Something something here is being um it's kind of like be careful of your frenemies. There may be people that surround you that might be draining you or might not be in the best interest of your best interests. Because that's why maybe you've got the three of pentacles in your theme. That you might be surrounded by people who might not have the same ideology or the same concept or the same morals, ethics, values as you do. It could be people that you really care about, maybe, you know, your family, and then it could be your job, and, and you're trying to, like, hold it together over here, hold it together over there, but somebody out here is, is not, is out to bring this down. That's a situation. So let's see what the, let's see how you got here, Seven of Wands. Again, that's trying to trying to stand your ground, hold it together, keep everything in peace, keep everything in place. We got the Ace of Wands. We got the Four of Cups. And then we got the Six of Swords. So something fired up. Something got fired up. This is how you got here. Something got fired up. Ready to go. New beginning. And then there was a holdup. It stopped. Just as fast as it got started, it stopped. And then somebody walked away. Somebody left, physically left. I think you were trying to just hold yourself through it, weren't budging, weren't going to move, weren't willing to negotiate, like either you left or this other person left because something started up very fast, very furious, and then there was a halt. Somebody's not bending here. Somebody's refusing to bend. So either you left or somebody else left. So let's keep going. Let's let's see what's going on here. So let's find out what the Queen of Cups is. This is what's right around the corner for you. We got the Empress showing up. We have the Six of Pentacles showing up, and we have the Eight of Cups. You might not revealing to you might not be revealing to somebody your true feelings. You might be keeping these inside.
Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Okay, you might not be showing somebody your true feelings. You might be keeping these feelings inside. Um, there can be, or this could be the other person, there can be a separateness between um, your emotional life and your work life. And somehow these two are being kept apart. There's not a blending here. So there's some there's something that you very deeply care about. Queen of Pentacles coming up. But you're not sharing your feelings. You're not sharing your feelings. And I think that the feelings are a shared experience. Six of Pentacles, I think they are a shared experience. I think the other person does feel the same way as you. But again, somebody walked away or somebody is being emotionally unavailable there's an imbalance here because what's fading away here six of wands is trying to uphold everything trying to win trying to be seen trying to be recognized trying you know like this is fading away so whatever you're you're like trying to uphold or not bend on or not um back down from i think that that's starting to fade i think you're starting to see from another person's point of view but you're still not truly talking about or letting your feelings be known. They're hidden. So that's probably why we have the moon here as well. Outside influences. This is Pisces or Cancer. We've got the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. Again, something's hidden here from you. There, there's, some, there's some kind of sabotage going on here. Somebody's trying to sabotage something. They might be bringing in messages or you might be getting messages, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Um, somebody's very passionate. They might be very giving. They might be, um, you know, offering finances, help, something. But there's something that's not being seen here. Somebody's out for revenge. Seven of Swords. You got it twice. You got it in outside influences and you got it in your current situation. So even though the message is coming through, again, watch out for your frenemies. Even though the messages are coming through, there's something behind them that's not ethical. It's not of, um, more, it's not moral. Even though their behavior says different. This could be you, this could be the other person. But let's see what the Knight of Swords is. This is your next step. So this could be getting something off your chest or somebody could be getting something. So next step, the Knight of Swords. We got the Ace of Swords. We got the Nine of Swords. And we got the World. Change. New beginnings. So something here about getting something off your chest, speaking your truth, speaking the truth. You're scared. There's fear here. But this is going to turn things around for you. You might be working with a mentor or maybe you might be asking for help. Three of Pentacles. Maybe you're looking for outside resources.
But somebody here is trying to sabotage the situation. So let's get one more. Your next steps. Okay, got it. Your next steps. Um, there's something that you need to get off your chest. I think you're seeing the truth in a situation. Ace of Swords. I think you want to go forward and, and tell the truth or tell the truth or say the truth or say how you what you feel is the truth, but you're scared. But this is what's going to change things around for you. Endings and new beginnings. This is what's going to bring in a new beginning for you. I think maybe you're softening your stance on some things that maybe before you had just, you know, you weren't going to bend on them. You may be super focused on trying to create stability, financial, emotional stability here. You may be super focused on that. But something here has like brought something circle around to your attention. So let's get one more in the chariot because this is like driving forward. Will and determination. Driving something forward. We got the wheel of fortune. This is faded. This is on your path. And we have the king of cups. Opening up. Listening, empathy, compassion. Being fair, ethical, moral, ethics. So I am not getting clear on what this, what this um, sabotage is here. But somebody's out for revenge. They're hurt. And somebody's not really telling their true feelings about something, a situation. And this caused an imbalance somewhere or is causing an imbalance somewhere and somebody's going to be moving on. Could be you, could be the other person. But again, whatever's coming through here for you, the outside influences are, whatever messages are coming through here for you, um, to you, or you know, you could be giving them, I'm not sure. Um, there's deceit behind this. It's not, um, there's sabotage. It, it's being put forth for sabotage. Somebody's trying to I just keep hearing revenge. There's some sort of revenge coming through here. Could be you, could be the other person. But in order to change this around, this is about speaking your truth. Speaking your truth in a way that is um, compassionate and moral and ethical. This is how you're driving forward the situation and how you're going to turn the situation around, the wheel of, wheel of fortune. This is on your path. So this is definitely a lesson that needs to be mastered. Because you got the magician here in your opportunity. It is a lesson that needs to be mastered. You got two nines coming up. That is about mastery and wisdom in both your emotional health and your um, livelihood. How you create money, how you create um, independence, how you create um, how
how you create your life. Because you got two tens in what the universe is trying to help you with. <clears throat> and you got strength with that. So in the extended, I am going to look at, you've got Aries showing up here. You have got um, Aquarius showing up here. You got Pisces. You got Cancer. You got Sagittarius. You got Cancer again. You got Gemini, Virgo. Libra, all the air signs are here. Leo. I think that's it. Yep. So I will look at those in the extended. Remember, some of those could be background players as well. Um, for those of you not going on, let's get some guidance for you. We'll get um, advice in the extended as well. This seems to be like two separate energies here. That's why it's kind of like seems scattered. But whatever this is, your theme is about working together. Working together, bringing in combination, or, you know, could be seeking a mentor as well. But there's somebody here that's that's causing disharmony and destruction. And it seems like there's another geni another energy here that's trying to clear this out, trying to move on. Not standing in this deception anymore or this sabotaging or this you know whatever this is so there's two separate energies going on here that's probably why you have the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups two very separate energies right one's you know your day-to-day -day and one's your emotionality so that's probably why the two of pentacles is here as well because you've got two different situations going on here. Something that you deeply care about and something that's very much being sabotaged. But whatever it is you deeply care about, you're not saying anything. You're hiding it. And whatever this is that you deeply care about, there's a connection here. Because this is what the universe is trying to help you on. Something that you consider your home. It's going to take a lot of perseverance and a lot of strength for you to maybe move through this wanting to take a stand and, and stand there regardless. Because that's what's in your how you got here. You took a stand and you weren't bending. You just were not bending. Four of Cups. So either you walked away or somebody else walked away here. All right, so let's get a message to you. This is from the Sacred Forest Oracle Deck by Denise Lynn. We have, well, two going to come out. We have the Phoenix, Transmutation. And we had the Elves, Playfulness. But that came out in reverse. So let's see what's going on here.
Your life is changing, perhaps in ways that you didn't expect, but it's, it is wild and it's wonderful. Transmutation is the act of changing from one state of being on one element into another. Oh, there you go. That's what the Two of Pentacles is. Changing from one state of being into another. Um, the Phoenix is legendary for its transmutation in the fire. The, in the flames, he's reborn, leaving behind his old and tired self to become a passionate, wild, and free bird. Something that you might have thought would never change is changing, and it's going to change into something amazing. It's not an ending. Rather, it's a bright, shiny new beginning. Situations that seem lost are transmuting into fabulous opportunities. Release your expectations and your limited thinking for things are not as they seem. And then you got the playfulness in reverse. So this says... Embrace innocence. Let go of heavy responsibilities. Nurture your spirit by doing something that is joy to your internal being. Joy is important for sustaining yourself just as the food you eat. Allow energies of the food you eat Allow energies of the food you eat to sustain yourself bring you joy. Fairies and elves are diminutive beings that live in the forest, meadows, and hollowed out tree trunks. There are accounts of elves throughout history in every country in the world. Many people attest to having seen them playing in the woods. In some traditions, they are taught, thought to be gleeful tricksters with a reputation for pranks and mischief. So be careful of who you have or who surrounds your life. Well, that would talk about this part, the deceitfulness and the situation. And the transmutation. So things are changing. They may not seem like they are, but things are definitely changing here. Um, be careful of your frenemies. That kind of seems to be what's going on. Is somehow you are transmuting out and some people are not going to be happy about it. And some people are going to be out for revenge. Or are seeking revenge here. But regardless, you're moving forward in your truth. And it's really going to open you up and change things around in your world. So that's what I have for you this week, Taurus. For those of you going on, the link is in the extended below, and I will see you over there. Until next time, may the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. Bye-bye.